do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, I show you how to use dist command and dimension continue command in AutoCAD. So, dimension continue command means how to measure and mark dimension without giving dimension command repeatedly. Okay. So, first I will show you dist command. So, let's get started. So, dist command is used to find out distance, angle, point and location. Okay. So, first I will show you dist command. Okay, so for dist command, you can type dist dist or shortcut key of dist command is di. Okay, so shortcut key of dist command is di. So di press enter. Now specify first point. Okay, here specify first point. So click here and specify second point. So this is the second point. Click here. Okay, now here you can see all the details. Okay, this is the distance. 207 feet 9.2 inch means 9 inch okay so this corner to this corner this distance is 207 feet 9 inch okay so this is x 189 feet 3 inch so this is this length is 189 feet 3 inch this is x okay now y 85 feet 9 inch so this length is 85 feet 9 inch okay now this is 336 xy angle in xy so this is 336 okay i'll show you this so this is the go to dimension then aligned now click here and click here now see this is 207 feet 9 inch okay so next Go to dimension again and linear. Now, this length is 189 feet 3 inch. Again, enter. Now, this length is 85 feet 9 inch. Okay. Now, here, draw a line here. So, the first point here and second point here on this corner point. Okay. Now, this angle, go to dimension, angular. Click here and click here. Now, this is 24 degree. Okay. So, the total angle is 360 degree. Okay. Now, 360 degree minus 24 degree. Then, we will get this angle. Okay. We will get this angle. Okay. So, di. Now, click here. Again, second point, click here. Okay. So, See, this is this distance to 0, 7 feet 9 inch. So, this corner to this corner, this is 207 feet 9 inch. Okay. Next, this is 189 feet 3 inch x. So, this is x 189 feet 3 inch. Okay. Next, this is x 189 feet 3 inch. Okay. This length. Now, y is 85 feet 9 in. Now, this length is y. 85 feet 9 in. This is y. Okay. Now, this is 85 feet 9 inch. Okay. Next, this is the y. 85 feet 9 inch. Now, this is the angle in x, y. See, this is 24 degree. Now, total 360 degree minus 24. So, we, we have 336 degree. So, here to here, this angle is 336. Okay. So, this is angle in x y plane 336 360 minus 24 okay now this is 0 z because this is 2d okay now angle from x y plane is 0 okay so this is like this you can use this command okay i'll show you again so this is x this is y okay this is this angle 360 minus 24. Okay. So, like this you can use this command to know distance, angle, point and location. Okay. I will show you again. Di enter. Now, I will show you this. So, click here and click second point here. Okay. So, here. 
distance is di again click here and click on second point here okay so now this is 69 feet 11 inch 11.5 inch okay so this corner to this corner is 69 feet 11.5 inch okay this is now this x 56 feet 6 inch see this is 56 feet 6 inch x okay this length now y is 41 feet 3 inch now this length is this is y 41 feet 3 inch okay this is y now this is 324 so draw a line here okay i have already told this draw a line here click here now click second point here okay now this angle is go to angular click and click this is 36 degree okay so 360 degree minus again take di now click here and click here okay so this is 324 so 360 minus 36 degree so we have this 324 okay this angle is 324 angle in xy plane okay so hope you understand how to use dist command this is xy this is distance corner to corner point okay so hope you understand how to use dist command now i'll show you how to use dimension continue command okay so for that go to dimension linear now i'll show you here click here again click here so this distance is 13 feet 9 inch okay now i'll continue the dimension so go to dimension again now continue okay see this is click here now click here again now here no need to keep the dimension command repeatedly okay just click okay so this is done so now i'll do this by giving command okay so give command dimension continue dim continue enter this is the dimension continue command enter okay this is the dimension continue command okay enter now see this is already here no need to give the dimension command repeatedly okay see this is done so hope you understand how to use dimension continue command okay in dimension continue command no need to give the dimension command repeatedly okay so it's very easy to use okay so go to window and click on flow plan okay so here i'll show you so give dimension continue command here dimension continue press enter now here we need to click on dimension from here we need to mark the dimension okay so click on this dimension okay here to here we need to we need the dimension so click here okay now see this is done now we need dimension from here to here so click here on this point see this is done again click here see this is done so hope you understand how to use dimension continue command okay again give dimension continue command select see this is done okay so hope you understand how to use dimension continue command now go back to this plan all right so 
dist command you can use dist command click here and click here okay then we have all the dimensions here distance x y angle in xy plane okay Ang angle from xy plane okay so we got all the uh, information okay all the values so this is dist command okay this is x this is y okay so this is x this is y okay this is the angle this is the angle okay this is draw line here this is 36 to so 360 degree minus 36 then we have 324 so this angle is 324 okay so this is like this you can use dist command and dimension continue command dimension continue dim continue okay this is the command now okay now see like this dim continue is the dimension continue command okay so hope you understand how to use dist command and dimension continue command so it's very easy and if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you for watching